All right, um, good evening everybody. All right, we're starting um, construction. And this is where I would start. I would start by saying that construction involves the use of a compass. Then I would say to you that um, a compass is a device that is used to describe arc circles and arcs. A compass is a device that is used to describe circles and arcs. I would also tell you that the distance between the metal tip of the compass and the pencil point is called the radius. The distance between the metal tip of the compass and the pencil point is called the radius. All right, um, when we're doing the lesson, from time to time, I'll, I'll, I'll say something like this. With A as center, or I might say with B as center, Anytime I say that with A as center, it means you must put the metal tip of the compass at A. That's essentially what it means. So our first, um, the first um, construction we're going to learn is how to bisect a line segment. The first construction we're going to learn is how to bisect a line segment. All right, everybody, let's begin. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your compass to a suitable radius. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your compass to a suitable radius. Please listen. Suitable implies that you're going to have to make a judgment. Suitable means not too wide and not too narrow. Alright? Fine. Um, sorry. Bad instruction. For this one, you're going to open the compass to more than half the length of AB. In this example, I want to bisect the line AB. By setting the line AB means I want to cut the line AB into two equal halves. Now I'm going to work by set the line AB by constructing the perpendicular bisector of AB. All right. First thing, some simple things about compass care: um, the joint of a compass must be sufficiently tightened. The reason for that is that when you open the compass and set it, it must stay set. When you open the compass and set it, it must stay set. It mustn't come back, you understand? The simplest little brush is enough to come back, you understand? Once you open it, it should stay what? Set. So the joint of your compass needs to be sufficiently what? Tightened. Alright? Fine. First thing. So, I'm going to bisect this line. Open the compass to more than half the line of AB. You're going to have to judge it. I'm opening the compass. Open the compass to more than half the length of AB. Is this more than half the length? Yeah. Let me know? Yes. Now, with A as center, what does that mean? You put the point at A. I'm going to put the metal tip of the compass at A. With A as center, I'm going to scribe two arcs, one above A and one Base. below A. So, A as center, I put the metal tip of the compass at A, I scribe an arc above A, and I scribe an arc below A. Don't do anything yet. Without shifting the compass. Without shifting the compass. What does that mean? It must come in closer or it must not you understand? get wider. Without shifting the compass, I'm going to put the metal tip at B and scribe two arcs to intersect the first two arcs. So without shifting the compass, I put the metal tip at B. And I'm going to scribe two arcs to intersect the first two arcs. Alright? Everybody do the same thing. Everybody do the same thing. Everybody do the same thing. Where the two arcs intersect, I'm going to call here X and call here Y. Alright, so I'm waiting on you. Everybody do the same thing. Open your compass to more than half the length of AB. Open your compass to more than half the length of AB. I would say. Then, with A as center, you're going to scribe two arcs. One above what A? I should have told you the length of AB. As people use all kind of weird lengths. I'm going to scribe two arcs. One above seven. One above A and one what? Below A. Then, Without shifting the compass, move the metal tip from A over to B and scribe two arcs to intersect the first two arcs. Where the two arcs intersect, 
I call this point X and I call this point Y. Move it over now to B. Sorry, use here. Hold. When you turn the compass, use here. Then without shifting, you need to move it over to here. And then above. Sir, so please put it at A and put the first one. Sorry, again. Open the compass and half the length of AB. Then, with A as center, you're going to scribe two arcs. Prepare to get a center. <laughs> One above A and one below A. Mm -hmm. so decrease the length of the line. For those who decrease the length of the line. For those who haven't drawn a line yet, let your line be seven centimeters long. So how will you draw the second one? Be or to B? Then let's go again. Watch me. Please look, everybody. Look, listen, and learn. Put it at A. Describe an arc above. Describe an arc below. Then, without shifting the compass, without shifting it, the distance between it must not change. That's what I mean. Without shifting the compass means that the distance between the metal tip and the pencil point must not change. Move it from A, put it at B, and scribe two more arcs to intersect the first two arcs. Where the two arcs intersect, up here I call it X, and down here I call it Y. The last step is to what? Use your ruler and draw a straight line through X and Y. Last step. Use your ruler, draw a straight line through X and Y. Line it up properly, accuracy is important. Line it up properly, accuracy is important. This line is called the perpendicular. <laughs> bisector of AB. That line is called the perpendicular bisector of AB. It's called the perpendicular bisector because it it cuts AB into two equal halves. This is what you use on turning the compass. And the two lines meet at right angle. This is what you use. This one here. Okay. Alright. Um, the line is the line XY is called the perpendicular bisector because it cuts the two it cuts the line divides the line AB into two equal halves. So this side and this side are equal in length, and the two lines meet at right angles. The word perpendicular means at right angles too. It is called the perpendicular bisector, bisector because it cuts the line AB into two equal halves and perpendicular because the two lines meet at right angles. Ladies and gentlemen, the second construction, bisecting a line segment. Sorry, bisecting an angle. Um, I want you to what? Um, draw an angle. Just like what I did, I want you to draw an angle. Let the length um, BC and the length BA um, both be 5 centimeters. Let the length BC and the length BA be 5 centimeters. We're learning how to bisect an angle. So I want you to what, start by what? <coughs> by drawing an angle. So draw an angle, any angle. Don't let it be too, don't let the angle be too, too small. Somewhere between what? 
50 and 60. Let the arms of the angle be 5 centimeters long. Let the arms of the angle be 5 centimeters long. When you're measuring a line, you must start from zero. If, I, if you're drawing a 5 centimeter line, you must start from zero on your scale. So let the arms of the angle be 5 centimeters long. Alright, and I want you to draw an angle. Don't let the angle be too narrow. Don't let the angle be too narrow. Somewhere above about 60 degrees. Don't let it be too narrow. Alright. Now everybody please look. Everybody, please look. First thing you're going to do, open your compass to a suitable radius. Suitable implies that you're going to have to make a judgment. Suitable means not too wide and not too narrow. So, for me, this is about suitable. Yeah, for me, this is about suitable. Suitable means not too wide and not too narrow. Everybody, all need to look in order to understand what to do. Please look. Please look. Please look. You open your compass to a suitable radius. Radius. Don't do anything. Just look. Don't do anything. Just look. Step one. You're going to put the metal tip of the compass at B. I want to bisect this angle. B is called the vertex. I'm going to put the metal tip of the angle at, of the compass at B. Don't do anything. Just look. Put the metal tip at B. And I scribe an arc and I must ensure that the arc comes around and cut both arms of the angle. Still don't do anything yet. Still don't do anything yet. I'm going to call this point X and call this point Y. Step one, put the metal tip at what? B, then scribe an arc. I must ensure that the arc cuts the what? The two arms of the what? Angle. Then, without shifting the compass, without shifting the compass, what does that mean? The distance between here and here must not change. I'm going to put the metal tip at what? X. At X, and scribe an arc in front, of, in front of the angle. Then move the metal tip to what? Y, and scribe another arc to intersect the first arc. Where the two arcs intersect, I'm going to call that point Z. Everybody do the same. Step one, two one. Open your compass to a suitable radius. Suitable could be about half the length of the line. Then, then swing an arc. You must ensure that the arc comes around and cut the what? And cut the both arms of the what? Um, angle. Where the arc cuts the two arms, you call those points X and Y. Then, without shifting the compass, move the metal tip from B and put it at X and scribe an arc in front of the angle. Then move the metal tip from what? From X, put it at Y, and scribe a second arc in front of the angle. Where the two arcs intersect, you call that point B. Sorry, you call that point Z. What do you think would be the last step? Sir, line. Sir, go back. Very easy. You control. The pencil for the compass is too long. Move the metal tip to here. Scribe. Move the metal tip to over here. Scribe. That's it. 
Last step. Draw a line from B through Z. Draw a line from B through Z. So you line them up. Ensure that you line them up properly. Accuracy is important. Draw the line from B through Z. This line is simply called a bisector. No, no problem. It's just called a bisector. It's called a bisector because it divides the angle into two equal halves. So if this half is theta, this half is also theta. It divides the angle into two equal halves. Uh,